Malnutrition is a serious problem, killing and crippling more people in the world than any other cause. Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski with MoveNat Health and Lifestyle Principle Number 1, Eat and Drink Right. We talked about how our soil is depleted, how the seeds have been modified, how we use tons of pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides, and on top of that we process the foods. We talked about how it's been suggested that people should eat better diets and they should. They should eat food, not too much, mostly plants. As Jack LaLanne said, if God made it, it's okay. If man made it, don't touch it. We talked about fortifying foods and how that's generally not a good idea because the foods are pretty empty to start with and we add a little back, but one category of food that's really good is medical foods. Now we're going to talk about arm number three, suggestion number three, which is add supplementation to the standard diet. Now one of the journals called Advances in Therapy took two groups of people. They put one on an excellent diet, the other group was given diet and supplementation. Prior to the study they measured tissue and blood levels of major nutrients and nutrient markers. After three months of an excellent diet they found that food alone barely changed the parameters in the tissue and blood. Their conclusion was, very simply, that only supplementation was able to significantly increase nutrient levels to confer wellness. And therefore, supplementation is advisable for everybody. My takeaway from that is today, food is too weak by itself to replete depleted cells and bodies. So there's three things that everybody needs. A good broad-based multivitamin, multi-mineral supplement, a comprehensive plant nutrient supplement, and omega-3 supplementation. Now, you may be worried about supplements. They could be dangerous. At least some doctors may have told you that. Well, the Poison Control Database in the United States publishes deaths and problems from poisoning. It's estimated that there, there were 60 billion doses of nutraceuticals consumed in the United States in 2010 without one fatality. If you compare that to food, 5,000 people died from food poisoning, or to drugs, more than 100,000 people died from properly prescribed adverse drug reactions. So nutraceuticals are infinitely safer. Now, why a multivitamin? Well, we've done our National Health and Nutrition Education Survey, and we know that 93% of the population doesn't even get enough nutrition to keep the average person healthy. And the U.S. Statistical Abstract says that only 1.5% of the U.S. population is considered healthy. So at minimum, we're going to need to supplement with a multivitamin, multimineral. G the Journal of the American Medical Association published a study, Physicians Health Study, about men that took a multivitamin. And they found out that these men that did reduced their overall risk of cancer. When we start talking about plants, Bruce Ames, geneticist out of Berkeley, published that those people that eat the most fruits and vegetables get the least cancer. Those that eat the least get the most cancer. The National Cancer Institute used to say that we should ingest five servings a day. Now the serving is up to 13 servings a day. Why? Because there's not as much in the five. Remember, we've depleted our soil and we've intoxicated our plants with pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides. The number one selling supplement in my office is a comprehensive plant nutrient supplement. It alkalizes the system and has numerous health benefits. The last is going to be omega-3s. When I teach nutrition, I want my students to memorize this fact. Omega-3s prevent heart attack, stroke, and cancer by 13 different mechanisms. We recognize that the standard diet today may be 10 to 1 omega-6 to omega-3, or maybe even as much as 25 to 1 omega-6 to omega-3. The hunter-gatherer diet had a ratio more likely to be 1 to 1 omega-6 to omega-3, this high ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 creates a pro-inflammatory environment in the body that causes pain and fatigue. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, wishing you health, happiness, and success.
always.